We'll move on to the non-appropriation warrant articles. <clears throat> Sir, we can vote on tonight? Yes, and Mr. Chairman, just yes. so you know, that um, there was a question at one time as to whether Selectman's recommendation could appear on non-money articles. Uh, since last year, the uh, New Hampshire Supreme Court has passed a decision that, given the wording of the statutes, it is, yes, the case that the selectmen can give recommendations on non-money warrant articles. So how, what is the want of this board? Do we want to put on, on that or not? Excuse me? Do we want to include our recommendations on these non-appropriation uh, articles? You, uh, you have for the last several years done that. Right. So do we want to continue that? Yeah. I mean, I, I would say yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Consensus of the board, we will continue. Article number 10, as we have it written right now, is shall be, shall we modify the elderly exemptions for property tax in the town of Hampton pursuant to New Hampshire RSA 72 semicolon 27-A based on the assessed value qualified tax taxpayers to be as follows for a person 65 years of age up to 75 years of age hundred and twenty five thousand dollars currently it's at a hundred and twenty for a person 75 up to 80 160 is currently 150 for a person of 80 years of age or older 200,000 currently is at 178 to qualify the person must have been a New Hampshire resident for at least three consecutive years preceding April 1st, own the real estate individually, jointly, or if the real estate is owned by such a person's spouse, they must have been married for at least five years. In addition, the taxpayer must have a net income of not more than $38,000, or if married, a combined net income of less than $58,000, and own assets not to exceed in excess $250,000, excluding the value of, of a person's primary residence. The purpose of this article is to modify the exemption for the elderly due to the recent revaluation of the tax in order for the exemption to keep in pace with the inflation and the general increase of property values so as to leave no elderly person behind because of these value changes. Yes. I'm going to um, be against this. It's not something that I, I think that... <clears throat> um, I would love to say that I could that I'm for it, but I do think this is one of the things we can give up. The main reason why I'm against it is I have not seen one person that came in here and suggested that we do this. Who, so, who originated this? No, we originated we originated this every time we do a revaluation. The town originates this warrant article in order to keep the playing field level. So that's and we present it to the board to see whether or not you wish to submit it. Otherwise, it has to come by petition. And I haven't seen. I'd rather see it come by petition. Any other questions from the board? Hey, Fred, have we every other evaluation proved something like this, or every time we've done a reval, we've approved an amendment. Okay. I'm going to be for this. I, I think that that there are a lot of elderly people on fixed income with expensive properties that can't afford the taxes. And I think maybe they may haven't come forward yet, but, it, but I'm, uh, how much money are we talking? I will tell you that the same board that you're referring to before that did nothing are the ones that raised this at the time. We worked on this. We had a big study about it, and we are the ones that made it right. raised I, at I the last time. I will say that this time. is totally different from what I was talking about the well, last time. Well, that I mean, same board did this. Right, it totally wasn't different. because of the reevaluation. apples here and oranges here. Well, it wasn't because of the reevaluation. Okay, That's what I'm saying. I'd yes. like to say that I think this would be a nice way, like with the reevaluation, that we can help the elderly who are no longer working and that we can show that we do realize what Social Security is paying right now. And I think this would be very nice for the town of Hampton to get this on the warrant for the voters to decide. So moved. So a motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Four in favor? One opposed. Next one is... Article 39, as written right now, shall the town of Hampton vote to amend Chapter 420, Solid Waste of the Code of Town of Hampton by deleting Section 420-2B, everything after the word town, including the subparagraphs 1 and 2, and by adding the new following new subparagraph 
4th, 420-2C. Hours for winter and summer, summer operation of the transfer station shall be determined by the Board of Selectmen and posted on the town's website. What do we have? What's you want to speak on this? Right now it's in the ordinance, and uh, there are times when we have to shut the station down and we can't because it's in the ordinance. Uh, we felt we should come to the selectmen if anything needs to be temporarily shut down or a day needs to be avoided so the selectmen can talk about it at the meeting, can either approve it or disapprove it, uh, and people in town can know what's going on in advance as opposed to just not getting the work done or inconveniencing them because we have to do the work. I'll make a motion to pass this. There's a motion. Second. Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Four. One opposed. Okay. Next one is Article 40 as written. Fence height changes on formerly leased land. Tell, shall the town of Hampton grant the Board of Selectmen under the authority of <coughs> authority under RSA 41 uh, semicolon 14 dash A to modify or release the deed restrictions imposed by the town under the lease land sales program to be added to the authority already granted to the town of Ham town, town to the Board of Selectmen under RSA 41 semicolon 14 A under Article 38 at the March 2002 Annual Town Meeting. Okay. Uh, right now, the lease land purchase um, requirements that are there as covenants on the property require that a fence cannot be more than three feet, three feet in height. We have a number of people, quite a number of people as a matter of fact, who have swimming pools. And by state law and ordinance, they have to have a fence that's four feet high. Uh, that's posing to be a problem because they've already installed the fences at four feet, and now they're illegal, and we have people complaining about those fences and want them taken down, which would pose a potential problem for children. So we'd like to get the, uh, this, this authority granted to the Board of Selectmen so when people come in and they want to put a pool in, or they want to put a fence up surrounding a pool, something of that nature, then they, the selectmen can have the authority to hold the necessary public hearing to grant that authority. I'd like to make that motion. I'll second it. What do they have to do now? They have to go to town meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Next one, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I might just suggest. You um, want to read I, it? I'd like to. No, I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> can we hold that for a bit? I'd like to chew on that one myself. Article 41. And I think it probably it would take an explanation by the fire chief in, uh, to uh, appreciate what's being done. Okay. So we will hold that off till next week. Thank you. Next one is Article 42. Except another streets. short one. Another short one. Shall the town of Hampton vote to accept the following streets as Class Five highways? These streets require a vote of the town meeting to be Class Five highways, and have not previously been placed before the town for a vote of acceptance. They have been paved and maintained by the town for many years. These streets shall be accepted at no cost to the town. Do I have to read all of them? You want, you want, you want to read all that? Can I read just the, the streets? <laughs> Wait, that we, just read the streets. I'll read the streets, yes. So, the first one is Dumas Ave and Cliff Ave. The next ones are Ocean Drive, Woodstock Street, Plymouth Street, Campton Street, Thornton Street, and Portsmouth Avenue, all located in Sun Valley. Next one is Pearl Street, Gill Street, Redmond Lane. Next one is Viking Street and Thorwald Ave. The next one is Toll Avenue. Next one is Newman Street and Mason Street. The next one is Arcadia, Emerald Ave, Sapphire, Crest, Ash Street, Spruce Street, Surf Street, Overlook Street. Next one is Lamprey Terrace. The next one is Boston Ave. Except as the numbered streets, 1st through 19th. So that would be all of, all the numbered streets between 1st and 19th Street. Correct. 
except Acorn Street. Smith Ave. That's it. And that's it. Yep. That's enough. So it's a long article, and there's a lot more written in there, which which spells it out what they were and how they were came in. But that's those are the, the list of streets that, that we need we are looking to accept as class five highways. Any motion? Any so moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. The 99-year lease at 10 Ancient Highway. Shall the town of Hampton authorize the Board of Selectmen on half of the town, it should be on behalf. On behalf, yeah. Of the town to issue a 99-year lease to the owners of the property at 10 Ancient Highway. It having been discovered that this small portion of the dwelling house is located on town property. Majority vote required. I'll move that. I'll second it. All those in favor? Unanimous. The next one is Article 44 is written. Shall the town of Hampton vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to convey to the Hampton School District upon such terms and conditions as the selectmen may, be determined, uh, may determine as appropriate and in the best interest of the town, all of the town's right, title, and interest to two separate parcels of land. The first, commonly known as the Arnold property, which has been under lease to the Hampton School District for the purpose of an off-street bus loading and unloading area in accordance with Article 43 of the 1988 annual town meeting. And the second, commonly known as the Martell property, over to which the town, over which the Hampton School District has an easement for a travel lane, so that in accordance of Article 43 from the 1988 annual town meeting, both located on Academy Ave. These conveyances are con contingent upon the successful passage of the currently proposed bond issue for renovation to the Hampton Ca Academy and the carrying out of that project, and are further to be made subject to the revetter of title to the town of Hampton of said parcel should no longer be needed by the Hampton School for the school purposes. The vote of majority. This is the same as the article we had last year, correct? Exactly the same. I move that article. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. And, well, I hope the last one we have here, I think. Article 45. The last one. Is this is uh, something that we've, we've come across this year. Is shall the town of Hampton vote to amend the code of ordinance to regulate the handling of transportation and disposal of animal waste? Amend the code of the town of Hampton by adding chapter 18 animals to the following new section to be numbered 18 13. 18 13 handling, transportation, and disposal of animal waste. No person who is the owner, keeper, trainer, or person in charge of a dog or other animal temporarily or otherwise permit such animal to defecate in violation of said provisions of this chapter without the necessary actions immediately to remove such defecate in a safe and sanitary manner. Defecation removed in compliance with the provisions of this chapter shall be placed in a plastic or similar container placed in a solid waste container for the disposal at the solid waste facility. Animal defecation is that disposed of or transported or to be placed in a public or private sewer, storm drain, or storm drain system, or any their part therefore, whether public or private, shall be in violation of this order. Any person found to have placed animal defecation in these public or private sewer, storm drains, or any other storm drain system shall be fined $1,000 for each action and shall be responsible for the cost incurred of cleaning up the system until it passes any test required by the state and federal stormwater quality acts or regulations. And to amend the code of Hampton, the code of the town of Hampton by adding chapter 406-6, use of public sewer subsection C, and then five, animal defecation. There's well, a mouthful. Well done, Mr. Chairman. There's a lot of defecation going on. A lot of defecation going on. <laughs> but we have seen, you know, we've had complaints uh, we've found a number of storm drains that have had um, so moved so moved yeah I'd like to say I was walking in Boston today down Commonwealth Ave and every time you come to a corner where there's a drain there's a little plaque that's actually pretty big because it says this goes to Boston Harbor yeah and uh, it at a great expense 
and so it should the, that must be the I thought I kept thinking to myself what would be going in here but that must be what it is could be yeah. anything could be oils could be anything that yeah. they put down there so um, we're planning on um, doing something in the order of putting a painted legend in front of our manholes and, 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 and storm drains that this runs to Hampton Harbor mm -hmm. so people will Good know idea. that that material is going to have an effect and isn't it true also Mr. Welch that the new federal stormwater regulations going into effect are going to require the town to test every single outfall regardless of the source of the water coming into it and for us to be responsible for cleaning it up that is a proposal under the ms4 permit which is to be issued either in december or january by the epa in boston region uh yes that's true and it's also true that if we identify by test contaminated material in there we have to clean the line until it is clean and continue to test until it's clean otherwise we're subject to substantial fines so moved yeah. i'll second and i agree with this 100 percent would the would the thousand dollar fine scare people away from voting for this would people say a thousand dollars i mean i agree with the thousand dollar fine 100 percent. yeah but i'm just saying would people looking at it the warren article say geez charging them a thousand dollars for that Considering it's probably going to cost us, if they continue to dump animal waste in the storm drains, it's probably going to cost us three or four times that amount to clean them. Okay. So, that's a very intensive project. Yep. I agree. <clears throat> so we have a motion and second. All those in favor? Unanimous. You know, when I was last down in Florida, I saw, uh, you know, we talk about these expensive containers to put up to hold the bags and stuff like this. Oh, yeah. They had taken plastic mailboxes. Put them up and then drilled two holes in them. And everybody that was there put their shop and save bags or whatever in there. And it gave people a place to have a bag oh. at very limited or no cost to oh. to having up a, a way to encourage That's a good idea. picking up. Yeah. So that was good. Very good idea. Yeah. 